5G, 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 and 5G. Of course, it's 5G. I have to pronounce it five times, isn't it? So what are the stocks to watch for for 2020? We have three stocks out front. You want to do some comparison. Definitely at the high end of 5 ringgit and 31, rated at 1 is Penta. And in the middle, 1 ringgit 59, rated, no rated, sorry, means zero rating, has a PE of almost 141 times. And definitely a slightly cheaper one uh, with better ratings is no other than Inari. Two out of eight, uh, piling at one ringgit seventy-four. This is partly because it fell when the RF. And so to me, Inari does look like a good buy. But looking at the uh, technical side, it's not ready yet. But let's look at the technical. If you can see, uh, Penta has just made a big move. And interesting enough, Penta using green by pentagon uh, has a 71 percent accuracy every time pentagon comes at the 71 percent accuracy of making money and definitely this current one is that and since then if you got in uh which is 17th of january a couple of days ago a uh, possibility about 13 percent return in there of course i share with you right one of the way to supersize your trading is for those of you not all is to use structured call or Penta. Uh, you can use the Macquarie Penta CM and that's what uh, you could make almost a 50% return in a shorter time frame. All right? You don't need to ride it too long because the worry of a time decay. Now on the JF tag, this is a pullback trade. That's why C Roby for entry looking at the price for pullback. This is an advanced trade as I said before, something we teach in our master class. And definitely Inari is still, if you look at it, still pretty much in a downtrend. As I tell people, we Wait, wait for the green pentagon to come. Like you can see here, this is the green pentagon. It is here. This one's not here. So that's one of the real benefit of our buy and sell signal for trade VSA on Smart Roby together with fundamental. See, together with Smart Roby, which is our software uh, market. Uh, sorry, so software stock market assistant chatbot, which stands for Smart Stock Market assistant ready to trade that's what we call smart roby and we are going to patent uh the ip and also the trademark the smart roby in there so no one else can copy it so 5g what are we looking at and what are those stocks if all of you are here and then let's get started i'm very excited today to share with you some of the 5g opportunity because i'm already in early on this monday and i already made a double digit within the last three days remember Penta. That's right. That was a Penta stock which I actually I traded live in front of my audience in here. And a lot of time, our live FB, we trade live with our uh, audience in here. So they know that we are real, unlike other people who just do trades. We, we look at the chart, we do those trades, and when we make money, we want you to make money. And we do. Please share, share, share this among your friends. And this is how we're going to do it. Let's look at the 5G opportunity that we have, right? Now, those of you who don't know, uh, do get our daily update from our Trade VSA Telegram. This is the QR code. So take a photo and share with your friends and tell them this is where you get a lot of stock idea tips, stock sector analysis, both technical, fundamental and sentimental analysis, plus right now artificial intelligence that will put money into your account and to watch all our episodes of all our live FB. Do subscribe to our youtube.com at Trade VSA where we talk about sectors that you will miss out the stock pick. You just have to watch it and you will get all those valuable information to put money in your pocket. And do give us a feedback to our Google Business in there. Go to just type uh, Trade VSA, go to Google Business and give us a good review. If it's not good, tell us why and we are happy to help you with that one. Let's, let's get started, shall we? Now, this is the thing that actually kickstart. You can see here are the so-called 5G campaign, 5G Malaysia progressing humanity. And I believe this is something that Pakatan at that time wanted to spur the innovation and the technology going forward. It's a very important message. And this is where you see uh, uh, Gobind Singh and uh, Anwar and Mahate coming together, officiated the 5G campaign. And this was launched in April 2019. Why this is important is because last week, the test bait for Langkawi, uh, the 5G actually went 
uh, ahead with successful. So that means our market is really going ahead compared to many other developing world. And because you all know, right, the 5G and the Huawei versus the US, and recently, I think as far back as last year, the US deemed Huawei as a spy, and anything that is produced by Huawei on the 5G is deemed as perhaps you know dangerous. And that's why you have the EU, the Germany, the British, right? They avoided the 5G. But guess what? Malaysia, being a very good ally in terms of business, economic, and trading partner, China has adopted and welcomed the 5G. And as such, you can see in April 2019, we launched the 5G progression, and that was a really big thing. And guess what? For the first time, Malaysia is going to be ahead, uh, more like a test bed, and news will be come out from Malaysia telling the world how technology advanced. And this is important. Why is that? Very simple. Malaysia being an OEM manufacturing as well being electrical and uh, electrical and electronics capability. So that will tell us that our country is technology inclined. I mean, uh, about all the, you know, all the political, we are ready to produce high quality products for the needs of the world in their mobile devices, the IoT, Internet of Things, and also automotive, which I will share with you on the further slides. So if you have any question, uh, do let me know and just text it in there. I'll be happy to look at them right now. But very important, the 5G movement has started and that's why you see the technology being 2020. A lot of fund managers are very bullish. And guess what? When foreign funds, which I've shared with you early on, on last Saturday, those who came, who came to our monthly meeting and we invited some of the public in there, we did talk about the return of the foreign fund, which I didn't cover it, but I did touch base last week and on Monday. They are coming in. So when they're coming in, in there, they're going to be looking things that has growth. And guess what has growth? 5G. So 5G sector, that's what we want to cover on. Now, the future of 5G in Malaysia, and this is why you should care. I think that's that's important to many of the, I suppose, the older generation are not that well versed about what's happening with 5G. And maybe this presentation, a very short one, around 20 minutes, will probably put the perspective why you should care about 5G. Okay, let's go on. Now, if you look in terms of the internet speed, many of you will experience, uh, let me just bring out my uh, so-called uh, laser pointer here. Now, many of you would have experienced is what we call the 4G, right? You have the LTE, it's just another name for 4G. I don't think they have a name for 5G yet, perhaps some other name, definitely not LTTE. <laughs> you all know what LTTE versus LTE, okay? Okay, that's that's just a political joke. Okay, I hope you all got it. Now, let's look at 5G, why it's important. Now, many of you experience a 4G if you have any mobile phone, whether it's U-Mobile, Maxis, uh, and the amount of the 100 megabit, I don't think you can get 100 megabit. Most of the time, you're just getting less than 20, around 10 to 15. Now, in terms of running up you know, a mile in here, you know, this is where you want to do a lot of catch up on Facebook and while you're doing that and it takes about you know a two hour movie six minutes to to load up and on 3G I think if you still remember 3G when it first started right the big mobile phone that's going to take about 26 minutes now with 5G what the vendor are promising 3.6 seconds to download <laughs> would that be true to download a movie right so you're going to be asking is it downloaded yet okay so in six minutes people technically you know catch up for the facebook and then finally they want to watch so that is why it is so big uh, in terms of 5g the connectivity now let's look on to the next thing now this was what was launched okay this year in malaysia in april 2019 and push up to January 2020. So there's a lot of activity that is going on, which is headed by MCMC, the Minister of, uh, of uh, Technology, uh, Minister of uh, uh, Multimedia. Okay, Multimedia. Okay, so this is what we call progressing humanity. And there are many states, of course. Huh? The Pakatan state is the first of those states that's been doing out uh, the, the Selangor, the Kedah, the Penang, uh, and the Kuala Lumpur. So you can see this so-called telco brand name, uh, Cellcom, DG, uh, Maxis, U-Mobile, and these are all what we call the pioneer testing that is going on. Uh, about 160 uh, million, 160 million is a lot. Actually, in the 2020 budget, they allocated about 50 billion 
right? So this is going to be very big, the 5G, because that is also going to work uh, together with the uh, National Fiber Association Board, which is they want to uh, put high-speed broadband in all the rural areas, able to connect in towards the, the last mile and using 5G. Again, 5G is all restricted by the tower, you know, the telco tower that you see along the highway and all the buildings inside there. So when you have the National Fiber Association on the rural area and the 5G get able to do to de deliver, I suppose, educational programs, YouTubes, uh, uh, right to the people in the middle of nowhere in Malaysia. Now, also at the same time, there are about 32 live 5G website, which is, you know, typically even on your phone that you get today, right? You can get a uh, video conferencing. Maybe you will get a better experience with 5G, all right? Now, this is in the line of something I talked about last week, why Malaysia being true after the GE14, uh, we have slowed down. Even our, what we call the manufacturing index has slowed down due to what? Do you all remember? The US-China trade war that has slowed down. So this is, you know, really slowed down. The manufacturing has slowed down. But of course, there's some really underlying. But the point is, it's simple. The US-China trade war has got so much slowed down that the economy need to expand. And the economies are projecting uh, a 4.5% uh, percent growth, which is not fantastic. Although our Minister of um, Finance, Lim Guan Eng, do say that we need to grow around the 44 to 45 and we intend to export the way out you know, for an uh, estimated growth rate of which is predicted by the World Bank around 3.2 to 3.4. That will show some sort of growth going forward. Now, we have did have the slowest growth in there and don't forget the manufacturing index which is coming up from the EE has showed a lot of slowdown but we expect the market to move ahead in 2020. I think that we have seen the low of 2020 but you may ask that question which I did talk about last Saturday in our monthly training, why isn't the KLCI moving? The KLCI is moving for your information. It's just that we have to look at the sector the, the, because predominantly the KLCI index are big, highly gauged by the finance sector. The finance hasn't moved yet, but the technology and the small cap stock, which I do have in front of my screen on my right, is doing quite well. And I'm going to show you some of those charts in those slides later. So feel free to ask any question that you have. I'm happy to answer you. All right. So let's look forward to going here. Now, now, for year 2020, I align myself with a report that is came up by Menu Life that equity is looking more in, uh, interesting. And the 5G is definitely one. The other one is the Dyson uh, manufacturing, which you all know Dyson moved their headquarters from UK to Singapore, being closer to their supply chains in Johor. And some of those stocks we all do know, right? The old Denko, they changed their name to ATA, IMS, the VS, the SKP. And those shares has done pretty well because of the huge growth in those high-tech uh, equipment. If you have not seen it before, just go over to the Harvey Norman stores in your shopping mall or the ESH, try out the Dyson. And there's also one in Mid Valley, which my son goes there quite often to try out the Dyson and also the LED lights. I know some of you who are the older generation may not into this, but guess what? The demands are there. And I'm sure you concern a lot about how you want to grow your portfolio, even you want to trade in the shorter term. You need to know where the money is, right? And one of the things that we do provide in our YouTube channel, in, in with our Smart Robby, is to show you where the growth is, right? So looking at that, and the last sector is commodity, which is the plantation. Again, I did talk about you know the 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 spread between the Indian uh, palmer uh, buyer and the Malaysian grower. You heard that one before, right? So they are saying that they will meet up in Davos. Yes and no, and also the B20 and B30. So all this thing is, you know, really causing the CPO prices. Is it hitting it's above 3,000? And also catch me on my YouTube uh, posting that I have. I talk about commodities, my opinion about commodity, where are they hitting is. So check those things out. But these are the sectors, the 5G, the Dyson, the what we call the EMS, the electronic manufacturing services, and also the commodities. All right. Now, what can 5G do that 4G cannot? Now, this is a very simple slide. I think many of you seen will be a faster, more realistic video, especially the gamers. Those gamers were able to play games 
doing their you know their right to work in the train and so forth but also one of the things is going to be a huge growth in iot uh, internet of all things able to connect those devices to the same router uh, i know many of you do, still don't have it connecting your refrigerator your fridge to your phone to your computer and to your heater these are more relevant to that but one day who knows but i do know some of these already here is to connect uh, your so-called camera your ip camera you know those uh, cameras that you put in front of your house if you do have an apartment you have one of those uh, camera where you actually see the person uh, when they come and ring your house bell so i do know those devices are available a friend of mine using is quite fantastic especially at home it doesn't have anybody right so there's no one at home uh, the person ring the bell because you know what a lot of people now deliver lazada they deliver all these things so what we do is just say that uh, leave it down there and not convenient to pick it up but actually this person could be sitting in a holiday uh, perhaps in vietnam and thailand and yet watching this person the lazada delivery person to come in and that's what we talk about what 5g of course on the bottom side here is what we call the autonomous drive or almost autopilot we haven't seen this a lot because what is still missing are the teslas okay the teslas are not yet and many of you hear that the teslas are already in uh shanghai and they did pretty well that tesla shares moved from 300 us dollars to 500 and because one of those analysts give a big boost because of the 5g 5g and 5g <laughs> so smart con smart transportation okay now let's do a, a bit of about 3g 4g and just looking at the technical spec i do believe with the 5g it does open a lot of ai you know a lot of the cloud processing the ai can be done which means many of the jobs will be eliminated and today i did, did the posting on facebook about the year 2020 career now those of you who have children you should persuade your children to move into data science or ai which is what smart robbie is all about you know pushing to the frontier putting a lot of the analytics to the stock market to smart robby to able to decide for you and one of this is because of transmission of data if you notice in 5g here right the data transfer used to be around one gigabytes and you can see this this is only megabytes right 5g also provide large memory phones storage you know high quality in there and avoid errors i think that's important the cdma basically is just a protocol that they use in telecommunication uh, for all 4g handphones they just get smarter so that is why huawei which is very big and they are at least two to three years ahead of any competitor especially the americans and if you notice over the years the americans uh you study the motorola the nxp uh, and also the standards they are coming up in the 5g somehow lack compared to the huawei and that's why donald trump is really pushing up and, and saying that look uh, this bunch of huawei are a bunch of spies and if you use 5g they are going to spy on your network and nothing is going to be safe from the chinese especially we all notice the chinese has been coming over to the spartly islands and the south chinese league staking its claim so is chinese a foe or a friend you tell me all right so 5g and huawei now let's move on to in here now some 5g usage is also enhanced mobile broadband and because of that you got a massive type the smart city the voice mission critical self-driving cars augmented reality is important to industrial automation i think one of the thing is augmented reality i think i can give you an example it's more like uh what we see in ikea just imagine you want to buy your ikea furniture want to put it in your house so you take a photo of real time you take a photo no you didn't take real time you use a video camera take, turn it on and you just hit one button and that furniture that you wanted to get would be shaped in your living room i've seen that before with the apple uh, my son actually showed me if you were to get an uh, apple phone not apple phone more like the apple uh, the giga desktops and how does it look like and it's augmented you just imagine right you point it to a table okay you point it to a table and because the data is processing that uh desktop actually appeared in the augmented reality just like a pokemon game you remember on that table and that's fantastic you can actually see it in there so why is that important because it really opens up a lot of e-commerce when you don't really need to go out and shop if you like what you see you press that button you'll get delivered and you enjoy certain discount and that's why it disrupts a lot 
of what we call the traditional brick and mortar, the augmented reality, e-commerce. The only thing they haven't figured out is the smell. Okay, you can't smell the furniture that you want. Of course, the old school of people still like to go to shopping mall or they like to visit IKEA in-store and shop. But don't forget the new millennium, right? The new millennium. That's the one they are targeting. The new millennium are coming, and those new millennium coming in in five to ten years. These new millennium are the ones going to be having the money. The older ones going to retire. All right. So that's why they are really preparing uh, the 3D video, the ultra high definition screen, which we get if you go up to, to the stores, things like that. And that technology is really defining where we are going it with low latency communication. Low latency means there's no lagging. Just like if you watch any of those Android TV, you got this buffering. Eh, eh, that's what you're not going to get that. But you will have 5G. All right. Now, uh, the 5G is also important because it connects the community. Now, this is where you have the virtual reality. And I uh, still remember there was one good movie called uh, One Player Get Ready. It's about a boy playing a game and it's a virtual reality. He put on the headset like this, the virtual reality. He stays at home. He has this gear. So it's a, and that's one of my favorite too. And why? Because Steven Stuber was one of the producers. And I still remember Steven Steven Stuber, one of the earlier uh, uh, producers together with uh, James Cameron. I think they, they produced the first version of The Terminator and it become a defining standard too. And that's why I see Steven Stuber taking virtual reality and with the 5G becoming reality in here. So you can see the smart home, the, the smart uh, phone and becoming the education and people don't really need to go to school. And you have the smart energy, they're able to detect just like what we call the thermostats, certain hour, they'll switch on the peak and non-peak hours. And then finally going back to the car. The cars is where the automotive industry is you know, where it can able to detect uh, parking, I think that's the simplest one. And then healthcare, there's a big, big scope in terms of healthcare. And today I just heard uh, in uh, one of the hospitals that the system was down, okay? I think this is in the Sedan Hospital or the Sungai Bulo Hospital News that they could not retrieve the record, so they have to manually down. So you can see how important that the 5G is. Now, I'm not saying that Malaysia uh, still need to work on it, but I'm saying the potential uh, important that without the 5G, without healthcare may just temporary stop for the majority. So this is why it's important to have a good infrastructure system and that's why early on we shall talk about Mahate and his Pakatan Harapan able to address that with the 5G progressive humanity. All right, so you get the, the, the question in here. So another thing is what we call the super cycle. I'll introduce this term called the super cycle, which is quite important because this gives a business case of a prediction going 2020. Will people change to a 5G handphone? I still think that uh, some of you may see those old 3G phone, and then finally they upgraded to the 4G. Now the 5G, now there's a lot of case, yes and no. A lot of them are really predicting the big case is that the 5G, could drive a super cycle and that's why which I bought Apple early on at about $96 right now for some of my clients and some I bought around $140. You still have it at $315. Isn't that great? Now $315 is because of the super cycle driving this Apple stocks going higher. So it's built as a top 5G pick. Again, yesterday there was a bit of pullback. Do you want to buy uh, Apple, but I think what's more important is to buy the supply chain of Apple, and that's why this presentation. On what goes into making an Apple iPhone 11 or 12? I think that's important too. You don't need to buy the uh, so-called the main uh, front. You can buy the secondary one by looking at the component that goes into. It. Of course, many of you would know. Uh, I have also posted on Facebook is Inari, 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 and Apple. All right. So let's take a look at that one. So this is the uh, 5G potential phone, how it looks like. You got the 5G uh, antenna, which is very important. It's not going to be one of those long antenna. The battery has to be big. The memory has to be big. So that is a big whole technology that goes into it, re also requiring wireless charging in there, the aluminum casing inside. So all this is quite important. Also the cameras too, because with the 5G, you're able to transmit video. So the camera may be able to work in light or dark area too. So that's going to be important. Now again, one more news also important. This is just about four days ago about TSMC, one of the world largest chip maker. They are powering ahead. 
to be ready of 5G and they're giving a very strong rising forecast to 2020. And uh, that seems to be you know, giving up a barometer that, hey, with the 5G, um, we are expanding, expanding our chip making in here. So a lot of stocks are going to move up. And, and that's what really driven the last few weeks. Uh, of course, some of you may have seen it before. Now, all these a lot of hypes. That's what I've said. You can look to buy or pull back. Right? Remember, good news, I always teach in our course, which, which I'm going to talk a bit about our February 15 to 17 uh, master classes, how to buy on bad news and sell on good news. One of the good news, I think, uh, which is related to what we call today, are uh, all the rubber glove. I'm selling my rubber glove, to be frank with you. I told Bill to sell some of the rubber glove because it's sort of really highly priced. And this is some of the technique we will teach you, those of you interested to come to our February uh, uh, 1570 masterclass where you sell on good news, sell on climatic volume and buy on it. And that's very similar to what we're seeing in Apple. All this thing is very, very hubris. It is very, very powerful, very, very, what we call good news thing to sell. That's right. Okay. So let's look at some of the Malaysian sectors. Huh? Uh, this is the part where you can you know, sort of take photo. What are those sectors that we have? In terms of car automotive, KESM, uh, which is done very well, I think went up about $10. Opcon is the fiber optics and JCY. It's um, not anywhere, but I went my last visit in October to Notion VTech, I met up with Mr. Uh, the, the chairman, and he was comparing his company with JCY, which is because he does a lot of uh, aluminium extrusion and a lot of stamping. So he said that JCY has some sort of tied up with Huawei, potential, potential, right? Potential tied up. And it is like a 4G which is moving because Notion VTech are involved more in commercial, like your hand washer, okay? It, 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 hand washer only. The Dyson, the plastic one, that one goes to the other plastic makers in here. So these are the three uh, sectors, the KSM, the Opcom, and the JCY. Now, of course, on the other mainstream one that you can see purely on semiconductors, whether it's automotive or it's a Unisam, the Globtronics, the Inari, R, which is the 5G RF, and there was a news early on, I think just before the year end, close the market drop because uh, Broadcom decided to sell the RF unit, which is a big tied up to Inari and that price drop off, which I'm going to show you the chart too after this. And the market has gone up. As I said that, look, a lot of these things, the 5G is going to drive any pullback that you see. Look into buying, of course, the uh, MPI, which is with Casam, Vitrox, Elsa. Elsa hasn't done very well. It's one of the smallest uh, software companies. Penta, remember, talk about Penta just uh, and JF Technology. So check all those out. These are really small cap stocks, okay? And, and uh, prospect. Now, if you look at the technology stock where we were from chart wise in 2019, it actually came from a very low base around 28, and since then has moved up in here. Also aligned with the technology sectors that you see in. US and also with the apples and so and so forth. But one thing is very alarming is that the tech sectors, if you look at the chart 216 to 2020, it's now hitting a resistance around 41, 42 here. So that tells you, you know, I do believe the upside is almost there. Wait for the pullback, right? If it does go up, there's another 8.4%, uh, way back to the old high around the 44.5 or a slight pullback to the old support, minus 7.2%. But I don't think it's going to go somewhere. It might go pull back to around 40 or 39, which is now around uh, 41 half. Okay, so that's going to be a 4 or 5% pullback in here. So that is the time you want to look. So that's why it's important you learn to buy on pullbacks. And that's why uh, last Saturday, one of our coaches, which is specialized in pullback, full talk about pullback, method one, method two, and method three. So you want to learn how to buy them. The counters we already given to you, the methods is already given to them, or even the price we are given to you, to, to you too. So you can see that's a lot of opportunity in, in here. Now, also we have the sector analysis, which is one of the new skills by Robbie called sector analysis. Now, tech stock has become the second leader in January. They tend to be, you know, remember I talked about plantation, those sectors, property. Property is coming up. Property is number three, construction, and we all know about construction, right? Last week, I talked about uh, property sectors. If you have not watched that video, make sure you watch it on the live FB or you can go to TradeBSA, uh, sorry, to youtube.com, TradeBSA, and look for the property video. Or just type TradeBSA property. I'm sure you're able to find uh, that one too. So that will get you up into speed. Now, the one on the 
right hand side which is the negative red one that's the one you want to avoid it and just focus more on the on the green one in here those are the strong sectors here okay now again for our members to able to look in at uh, these kind of stocks that you have which is you know uh, we recommend you to subscribe to it this is for the premium members and they are all sorted up nicely color coded as i said before every week you just need to you know learn how to use the color coded and actually trade around that so let me just show you what i mean so here are the stocks that you want to avoid remember you see a lot of red one just avoid it so the way to do it is that what we have here is like a table you can just click on the LT it will sort by itself the purple and the green one are the one that you want to be interested it will be sorted out at the top and then the red one down. so avoid those because those you're not going to go anywhere right so the purple one is going to make money and this is what I talk about red red green you want to avoid them get those you know with, with uh, very strong uh, purple green 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 now this is what I mean so this is like the types we call it the five star five star four star four star and these are what we call a real horse a riding horse and that's where we want to ride the momentum so the key thing is the key message is buy on the pool bank because we do see a resistance coming up but identify those stocks first okay do your plan plan and then do your trade I think that's important that's the message I'm talking about in here so going forward, what we do see is how to use Roby. Now remember, many of you have encountered Roby. Do install Roby in your mobile phones and you'll see that many benefits that Smart Roby able to help you to pick up those stocks. This is one example, BMB, where the analysts have to spend time telling you to buy and then finally put on Roby. It has identified it as also a intrinsic value, undervalued stock. Same thing too. This is by human. This is by a machine so you can see that the machine can do pretty well too now of course not forgetting a little bit of uh, uh, a promotion in here on the February 15 on 17 we have a master class program plus one year coaching that is 12 months of coaching and mentoring where we focus on the individual issues that each trader has the techniques the strategy the tools we will focus in the three day 15 16 and 17 and also live trading and also in our master class the coaching and mentoring which is we do every month we trade live in front of students like just did that and uh, trade you can see definitely we will make money for that one so this is a really good package for your family i got some of my members calling up like to bring their children along to really learn about you know uh, all this opportunity that's presented using smart robbery so check us out on february 15 17. Now, four reasons why we, we believe uh, that you should invest on 2020 on the 5G technology side. I think that the anticipation of the 5G adoption uh, from mobile IoT and automotive industry is definitely there. The US uh, economy, stronger US economy from the losing tension. And one of the things I talked with Bill after his brother came over to Malaysia, he really shared in America, jobs are plentiful, money are all over the place. So, Jobs are, people are actually having jobs and they have money to buy things. So when they do that, they're going to go and like you to change your phone. And that's that's where, you know, the big, big demands of the IoT mobile and automotive devices. And remember the Tesla, that's where the Tesla is doing. And also the expected recovery. Remember we came from the US-China trade war, the electrical and electronics and the growth in automotive, uh, automotive segment too. And last is not least is number four, where all our local uh, capacity OEM, they went through a period of slump low utilization in there now they're gearing up okay so they are ready and they're very eager and that's why we feel that you know they're coming off no doubt the technology sector now valuation is not cheap you will never get it below 15 times at least 20 to 25 times right just like later on the next slide i'll show you the valuation of those stocks okay now, using Roby fundamental analysis, this is where we keep you insane and just not to chase every trade uh, looking at the valuation. So now, how do you find undervalued shares? Very simple, all right? All you have to do is just install the stock market Roby chatbot in your phone and free access limited time only. So with that, you're able to get those stocks and those information that I talk about. Right now, it's free for all. Do feedback to us on things that you like to see and Roby and we'll continue to improve Roby to help you to assist you to profit from this market real time right so have a rewarding time with it and don't forget our master class program plus coaching will be on 15 and 17 
of uh, February 2020. All right. So with that ado, join us again uh, for this entire year 2020. We have aligned with you great programs, same time, same, pl same place on your live FB every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for stock idea, sector speaks and strategy. Happy Lunar New Year. All right. So that's all we have. And I want to see if I have any questions from the group. Else, I'm going to bring in Zach to do the usual uh, stock pick. And he's pretty good into it. Uh, okay. So if I don't have any questions, Zach, any question for me? No, right? Uh, okay. No. So without... Oh, I think someone asked you what, what is the best time to sell gloves. Where is the best time to sell top glove? I'm selling. Sell glove shares. I'm selling now already. Okay. The question is, when is the best time to sell glove shares? I'm selling now already. Okay. As it go higher, I sell up again. Look for climatic, okay? The climatic action is very important. If you do not know what I mean by climatic, right? Join our program. If you don't know, use Robe. There's a target price there. Use that one already, okay? So I already give you the hint. Um, Robe has a target price. Just use those all. Wait for the red pentagon to come in. So all those have been there. The question is, can you follow? Okay, Roby has done all the analytics, all the big data, present those information for you to follow. And even the accuracy, it's also have it in there. All right. So let's look at the, any more questions in there because I can't get hold of the Facebook uh, questions in there. If you have any more, do let me know and I'll be happy to uh, go through with you.